in the book. Uh, in fact, I'd go so far as to say that one of the things that annoys me about economics is that it likes markets for the wrong reason, um, which is that it likes free markets because they're notionally efficient, whereas I like markets because they're inventive. And uh, the two narratives, you know, it's a perfectly, you can understand why free market people leapt on this idea of efficiency of, through competition. In fact, competition seems to be deeply wasteful if you look at it in a short time horizon. Uh, what's magical about markets, of course, is that uh, they solve problems through a period, uh, through a process of kind of market tested innovation. Yeah, trial um, and error. Try, try, it is absolutely trial and error. But it, it's a bit more than that, too, because I think one of the extraordinary things markets do, which I, I think this is one of the reasons I'm uncomfortable about economics trying to, to model itself on Newtonian physics, is quite often what markets find is more than one solution to the same problem. And I think if you approach business problems with the mentality of someone who's trying to make it look like physics – then one of the dangers is that you're always trying to optimize something or find the single overarching solution that works for the average. And in many cases, I think markets and business do something much more ingenious than that. They solve the same problem for different people in a different way. I think that's quite deep. I actually want to go back to the first thing. 